The next topic is myocardial infarction. Chalo. Another 25 questions. Khatam karenge. Very good. Almost two hours you all had been spending your time with me. Now doctor, we had a more deeper discussion with hundreds of MCQs from the JIPMAT AIMS All India PGI in uh, and DNB FMG question bank in uh, the online MBBS.com video library. Iske baad inspiration ke liye online MBBS.com video library mein jana aur revision karna night is very young. Transaminase is increased in it is increased in myocardial infarction. So, bhaiya, fada fad bolo, ye aur ek batti marne wala table hai. What are the cardiac markers? When do they rise? When do they peak? When do they, for how long do they continue in a case of MI? CKMB, LDH, AST, myoglobin, troponin I, troponin T, you ought to be very sure. CKMB, typically within 3 to 8 hours it is detectable. Peak value will reach within 10 to 24 hours and it will stay elevated for 2 to 3 days. That is the reason by about 7th day or so, if you want to, if patient once more gets chest pain, if you want to make the detection of a reinfarction, reinfarction, then CKMB is a good marker because we are talking about seventh day. By third day itself, the values will fall down. Seventh day, once more they are elevated, means that is more likely to be CKMB. Whereas LDH will persist for 8 to 14 days, AST will persist for 4 to 6 days, troponin I for 3 to 5, troponin T for 5 to 10 days. It will persist. That is a point you need to appreciate. Brahman, so it's like football, lelo, ko, definitely a question hai. Cardiac enzymes, what is their timetable for them to end? start rising, peaking, and time to return to baseline? Sudden death in myocardial infarction. Why patient on the way in the ambulance? Why does he die? Because of ventricular fibrillation, ventricular fibrillation, and uh, typically. Most of the ventricular fibrillation acutely need to be managed. But if the ventricular arrhythmias are persisting more than 48 hours post MI, if that is if they are symptomatic, hemodynamically significant, then that becomes an indication to put a defibrillator. Defibrillator is what you need to understand. Troponin T is elevated in case of myocardial infarction. Most common cause of death, kyo mar jate hai, MI mein, arrhythmias, ventricular arrhythmias, ventricular fibrillation. Most common rapid relief of angina, you put a nitrate, nitrates being the vasodilator, typically gives a most rapid relief. So, whenever patient is having unstable angina, what's more, let us talk about, let us get into the business. Angina, chest pain, right doctor? What are the types you have? You have stable angina, unstable angina and fringe metal angina. Fringe metal angina will lead to ST segment elevation. It is due to coronary vasospasm. It is not long lasting. Then stable angina typically is um, uh, short lived and predictable and unstable is called pre infarction angina. Pre infarction angina because, except for ST segment elevation, it is almost as good as MI. ST segment elevation will not be there, enzyme elevation is not there, is not there. That is unstable angina. ST segment elevation is not there. But enzyme elevation is there, that is called non-ST elevation MI. ST segment elevation is there, enzyme is also elevated, that is 
ST elevation MI. Got it? So there are three ends of spectrum. Unstable ends are there. No ST elevated, no enzymes elevated. Then ST segment elevated, but enzymes not elevated. That is, uh, sorry, uh, enzymes elevated, but ST segment is not elevated. That is non ST elevation MI. The moment enzymes are elevated, cardiac enzymes are elevated, that is MI. Infarction, necrosis of the muscle. But this may two types can occur. ST segment may be elevated, may not be elevated. So, how do you manage a non ST elevation MI and an unstable enzyme? Non ST elevation enzyme, what is there? ST is not elevated, but enzymes are elevated. Unstable may ST is not elevated, enzymes are also not elevated. So, in them, what do you give? Mona. Mona means A aspirin, B beta blockers, A inhibitors, low molecular weight or unfractionated heparin. You can even add clopidogrel or a glycoprotein 2B3A inhibitor in high risk patient. In high risk patient. That's what you need to remember. If the pain is persisting in spite of the medical therapy or if there is any elevation of troponin level, then there is a great risk of an event within six weeks and hence you need to proceed to coronary and geography is what you need to basically remember. And what is the most important point you should uh, not forget? You will use streptokinase, urokinase tissue plasminogen activator all this thrombolytic agent only if ST is elevated only if ST is elevated on ECG without ST elevation you don't give thrombolytics you don't give thrombolytics then one more thing which is called equivalent of ST elevation what is that newly developing left bundle branch block LBBB newly developing LBBB is also equal to ST elevation which is an indication for thrombolysis now a patient is complaining of retrosternal chest pain for more than more than half an hour what you like to call that as that you call it as am I am I in China means chest pain chest pain uh, with a decreased blood flow to the heart infarction means necrosis of the myocardium Necrosis of the myocardium, it also has chest pain. So, what defines angina? Angina, pain is retrosternal, sternum KPJ. Pain cannot be localized with one finger. Patient will say, heavy feeling doctor, pressure doctor, squeezing doctor, choking doctor, but he can't point with one finger. Then, gradual intensification occur within minutes. But if it is angina only not infarction then only two to five minutes it can radiate to either shoulder or both arms along the unlarged surface then you call exertional angina which is very typical in the case of the aortic stenosis if you can if that pain is relieved with the rest or with the nitroglycerin is what you have to understand